Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Muggle Magic. In this video, I'm going to be doing a much, much overdue uh, fan mail opening. So if you sent me mail and you've been waiting to see me open it on camera, the reason it's taken so long is because I like to let it build up until there's enough stuff to open up that like justifies making a whole dedicated video to it. I don't wanna just open up a letter or two. So um, that's what I did. I waited it for, for it to build up and uh, looks like it's at the point where I can actually uh, dedicate a video to it. So that's what this is. Let's get into it. So I did get a couple of boxes and I also got a couple of letters. So I don't know, I'm just going to pick something at random. So I'll just do uh, this letter right here. Dear Danny at Muggle Magic, my name is Samantha Eberts. I am subscribed to your Muggle Magic channel and it always amazes me. My fiance and I could not be happier that we have a YouTuber that makes crafts for the theme of our wedding, Harry Potter. We're using almost all of your DIYs for Harry Potter as we can. There is one thing I can't order only because I don't want to spend $80 on one thing and eight to $10 on the others when there are DIY artists. So can you please help us and do a Helga Hufflepuff cup DIY? It's the last Hufflepuff item I slash we need for our wedding. Please feel free to write us back if you have some more wedding ideas for us. Also, if you cannot make the cup, but know someone who might be able to help us, let me know. I look forward to hearing from you either by letter or your channel. And this is from Samantha and Robert. Actually, I have been wanting to do a Helga Hufflepuff DIY for the for the Hufflepuff cup, but that is something that takes some planning and I just haven't had a lot of time to do that. I'm like, how would I actually make the cup itself and make it look good? Unfortunately, if you need it soon, uh, you probably don't wanna wait around for me to get my DIY out there, but I'm pretty sure you can find a Hufflepuff cup on wish.com for pretty cheap. They have stuff, Harry Potter stuff on there for like dirt cheap. The problem is it takes a while to get to you and the quality is not always the best, um, especially if it's something made of metal. Sometimes the metal is just bendy. Everything I've ordered from Wish has arrived early. Like instead of taking a month, it's taken like two to three weeks. And that seems like more of a time frame that you'd be looking for hopefully for your wedding. I don't know when, uh, like I said, I got this letter a little while ago, so I'm not sure if it's come and, and passed. I hope not. If so, I'm really sorry that I didn't open it until now. But um, yeah, I would check Wish if you're in a hurry. And if you're not and you don't mind waiting, then I'll probably do one on my channel sometime down the road. I just have so many other projects that are taking up a lot of time. This one would be very time consuming, so I have to kind of put it on the back burner. All right, next let's open this other letter here. It is sealed with uh, gold tape. Here we go. Oh, it looks, yeah, it looks like some of the wax on this seal came off in the bag. But yeah, you can see it's, it has a wax seal here. And it looks like that's a G for the wax seal and it's gray. Oh yeah, cool. And it also has like a golden G up in the corner back here. That's really nice. I like that. All right, so let's open this up and see what's going on. Oh, it says Gringotts on it. That's cool. And that's also in gold. So let's see what this card says. Congratulations, you've been approved for a Gring Gringotts Bank credit card. This card may be, may be used to make purchases in participating stores, withdraw coins from automated goblin machines, ABMs, and make purchases at participating online stores. We trust that you find the services at Gringotts Bank satisfactory. Thank you. Gringotts Head Goblin. Gringot. This is really cool. It actually has like a little bank card in here. And then it also had this little receipt in there too. And it says Gringotts Bank um, GringottsWizardBank.com. Hey Danny, my name is Jordan and I'm from Madison, Wisconsin. I'm a really big fan of your videos, so I wanted to send you this project I've been working on. This is my idea of what a wizard credit card may look like, issued by Gringotts, the bank from the Harry Potter books and films. It, of course, is just a prop, something to carry around or display. I've created a website as part of this project as well. I made this mostly for myself as I am a huge Harry Potter fan, but I'm selling the cards on my Etsy shop as well in case others are interested. 
Hope you enjoy, feel free to share with your audience. And then there's a link to his Etsy shop on there too. So I'll put that in the description box below. So if you're interested in getting your very own uh, Gringotts bank card, this is actually really nice quality. Um, let's take it out of here and see. Please register your card before use. Um, and then it has a phone number and it says enter your vault number 228. So yeah, this actually looks like a legit credit card. It's really cool. Thank you so much for sending me this. I am going to definitely keep this and uh, proudly show it to people that I run into and also like Harry Potter and, and my friends, of course. Okay, so this next one is a box I'll be opening. And this actually I knew was coming. It's from Teresa and she sent me uh, a message letting me know that she made all this like Honeydukes candy and stuff for a party and there was a lot extra and wondered if I wanted to check it out. So I said, sure. So she sent me this box. So I'm gonna open this up. Here we go. Let's get this opened. I'm gonna try not to cut too deep because I don't wanna cut whatever's inside. The box did not arrive in the best shape. It looks like it got just a little bit mangled in the mail, but hopefully everything on the inside looks good. All right, so the first thing that I see is the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and it's actually a letter. So around June, she decided to throw a massive Harry Potter uh, party as a Christmas present for her friends. Stores had merchandise people could buy with money given to them on their arrival. That's awesome. Um, and in that way, everyone got to pick what party favors they wanted. That's a really cool idea. I'm gonna use that for my next Harry Potter party. So yeah, she was left with quite a few treats and she's dividing them up into packages to send to those I would have liked to invite but knew they wouldn't be able to attend. I would have loved to attend this party. This sounds really cool. And then there's a list of what she sent. Hope you enjoy them all, pictures of the party should you like to see or share them can be found at this link. So there's a link there. I'll put that in the description box as well if you wanna see pictures of this amazing sounding party. Thank you for being such a great influence and help when it comes to Harry Potter printables. You truly took a craft that was highly sought after but rarely supplied and made it available to anyone who needed it. That's actually why I started this channel because I was throwing a Harry Potter party and I couldn't find any really good quality stuff to print out. So I just made my own and yeah, this happened. I hope this package can demonstrate just how appreciative your fans are of you. Your fellow Hufflepuff, Teresa. Well, Teresa, thank you. I'm going to open this up and take a look at each and every one of these. First off, I'm guessing these, uh, this little bag here is the, uh, the coins. Let's see. Oh yeah, these are the coins. Here's a better look at the coins. They actually look pretty good. Okay, what else is in here? Wow, there's a lot. Okay, I'm not sure what's in this one. I'm gonna have to open it up and take a look. Oh, it's very hard. I don't know how long it's been and how long it was in the mail and all that, but let's take a look. Ooh, it's, it's like butterscotch chips. Nice, okay, what else have we got here? There's acid pops, mice pops, Honeydukes' best chocolate bar right here. And these are all in pretty cool little baggies. This is a sugar quill, Honeydukes' uh, nougat, and ice mice. So yeah, these are all just in these packages here. So there is actually quite a few uh, varieties right here of, of sweets. Exploding bonbons. And that looks really tasty. And surprisingly, they're vacuum sealed. Nice touch. Honeydukes Express pumpkin pasties, also vacuum sealed. What's this? I don't know what it is. It's just a, a box that says Honeydukes on it. It's vacuum sealed as well. And what else do we have in here? We've got no melt cherry chalk ice cream. This is a nice little plastic uh, container. So judging by like the quality of this, it was not cheap to put this party together. And it's actually like really nice, nice stuff. I am impressed. Let's see what else do we have? Cockroach clusters right here. Would you ever try actual cockroaches? I've, I've heard that people eat them. I've never eaten them, but I don't know. It sounds gross. Skeletal sweets. And it looks like they're cookies with bones iced onto them. Let's see, okay, there there is an end to this. Let's see. 
Oh, this, this, that's a shame this box got a little crushed at the bottom, but it is fudge flies. The box looks really nice. Each one of them has like a little price tag on here. And yeah, as you can see, it did get crushed a little bit there, but yeah, this is really cool regardless. Here we go. Peppermint toads. It's peppermint uh, cream sugar toads. Again, really impressive packaging. What else is in here? Quite a few more things. Oh, is this a chocolate wand? There's no way. Okay, it's not chocolate, but it is a type of, oh, it's a licorice wand. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna take that out of the plastic right now, but it is like this swirled kind of design. I wonder if it's meant to be bent. I'm not sure, but it looks like it's meant to be bent. Here you go, you can kind of see the uh, swirling detail right there and bubble wrap. And we also have glacial snowflakes. This is like making me want to do some candy boxes. Uh, what else have we got in here? Choco Loco, and it has a image of the Hogwarts Express on it. And there's more, let's see, uh, black pepper imps. There is a chocolate wand. That's really cool, and this must have taken a really long time to get all this stuff put together. And I'm wondering if you did all this by yourself, that's insane. I mean, seriously, if you did all this on your own, that's crazy. You would have, you had to have had help with this, right? Choco Chalk. I like this box design, really cool. I like the shape of the box too. It's pretty neat. Pumpkin Fizz. And I'm guessing this is like that pop candy, like it'll fizz when you eat it. And I think we are down to the last thing in this box and it is every flavor beans. And I would not be surprised if the jelly beans inside are actually the every flavor beans. It looks like they are, but I, I mean, you can't tell by just looking at them, but if you haven't seen my video on doing the taste test, I don't know if I'm ever going to eat them again, but. <laughs> I feel like I would just get flashbacks of how horrible everything tasted. <laughs> but yeah, this box is really nice. Everything is like professionally, it, I mean, it got a little banged up in the mail, but everything is like really professional quality stuff, it looks like, and they're vacuum sealed too, which is really impressive. I'm just completely blown away and impressed by all of this stuff. So thank you so much for shipping this to me and letting me at least have a little look at what your party was like. And I'm very excited to go and check out all of the photos in that link that you sent me. As I was putting all this stuff back in the box, I noticed that a couple of these bags I could sort of see through, and it looks like on the uh, chocolate bar from Honey Dukes, it actually has packaging on the inside. So I kind of want to take a look at that. So I'm gonna open this one up. There we go, yep, the chocolate bar is packaged. That looks really cool. And then there was another one that I, I'm really curious about, which is the sugar quill. I just wanna know what this looks like. That is so cool. It's like a little quill, but it's like, you know, uh, like a sucker sort of, and this part is shaped, like the sucker part is shaped like a quill. So thank you, Teresa, so much for sharing. And I'm definitely gonna take a look at the link to pictures of your party immediately after recording this video and I'm going to share the link in the description box below. So if any of you guys want to take a look and see how her party turned out, the link's down there. Now, there is only one box left. This one's from Amanda, so let's uh, take a look what's inside. Oh, there are multiple things in here. It's like a little uh, Christmas letter here. It says two and then it's blank here and it says from Santa North Pole. And this is all cloth. Thank you so much for all the time and effort you put into your videos. I really appreciate all the printables and have used many of them for Christmas presents last year. And I'll be making things this year as well. I made you a few things and I hope you enjoy. I didn't create the images used and I don't wanna take credit for them. I just assembled them. Thank you, Amanda. Awesome, thank you. And I like the, uh, <laughs> the cloth envelope. That's a really cool idea. 
so the first thing in here is looks like a Christmas ornament and it's the history of magic book man I feel so bad that I didn't open this uh, before Christmas but like I said I was just waiting for things to build up so that I had enough to dedicate a video to it here the next one is tales of beetle the bard as a Christmas ornament cool so these are a bunch of like book ornaments this one's uh, the life and lies of Albus Dumbledore Here's another one. This one's a little bigger. It's Gilderoy Lockhart Travels with Trolls. It's like we've got a few more things in here. Here is the Christmas Quibbler. And here's the last of the small ones. There's another small box in there. But yeah, here we go. Here is the, the uh, Quibbler with the Spectre Specs on it as a Christmas ornament. All right, and it looks like there is one more box in here, uh, a smaller box. So we'll get this one opened. A wooden box. That's nice. See what's inside. Oh, cool. This is really cool. Here, take a look at this. It's like a little potions kit. This is just very similar to the DIY that I did recently for the uh, Supernatural Hunters kit, only it's more like potions inside. But this was done way before that video even came out. I just, I'm just now opening this, this up. So yeah, that's really cool. Let's see what types of potions we got in here. We've got leeches, uh, knotgrass, and lacewing flies. And then there's also a small scroll in here too. Yes, it's how to make the polyjuice potion. And I don't want to unravel it completely and unfold it and everything because I want to kind of roll it back up and keep it as a scroll in this little kit. This is really cool. Thank you so much for sending this and sending all the other um, little ornaments. I will definitely use these on my tree next year. Okay, so I was just about ready to start editing this video and then another package came. Let's open this up so it's not left out. Oh, and by the way, this is from Stacy Rose from legendaryletters.com. So yeah, it looks like there's a business card in here. Oh, this is actually a birthday present. This is from Cassandra and she is actually one of my patrons, a longtime subscriber. She helped out with the Halloween quibbler. So yeah, um, this came from legendaryletters.com, the official office of Magical Mail. So it looks like they do more than just Harry Potter. As you can see on the business card, uh, they do some other things, including Harry Potter. But let's see what, whoops. But let's see what these are. So yeah, I'm not sure. It looks like they might be little pins. Yes, they are pins. All right, so we've got a Quidditch captain pin. And then we also have another one. I'm guessing this is maybe prefect. Yeah, I figured it was a prefect pin. And here is the prefect pin. So those are really nice and really cool and very thoughtful. Thank you, Cassandra, very much for this. Uh, thanks for the birthday present. I really appreciate that. And that is it for this fan mail opening video. If you would like to send me mail, my address is in the description box below. Let me know what you thought of all this stuff in the comment section below. Honestly, I loved it all. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and thanks to everybody who sent me stuff this time around. And I can't wait to make the next video, so I'll see you guys then. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something, that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.